Hello guys, in this video we'll discuss eGUI, an easy to use immediate mode GUI or GUI in Rust. Before we discuss eGUI or do some hands-on, let's spend a minute as we try to understand immediate versus written mode GUI to set the right expectations for eGUI. Let's try to understand with an example of a button component. But remember, it remains true for any other component that you use. So in immediate mode, UI is rebuilt from scratch every frame based on the current state and the logic flow. So as you can see, UI runs every frame, draws the button, check the click, handle the action. There is no state stored. Basically, whatever per frame is you know going on in, on the UI, UI is accordingly uh, rebuilt from scratch. And this is what eGUI is. It's an immediate mode GUI. Simple code always in sync you know because you are just managing your component you don't have to worry too much about the states and sync issues and stuff but when it comes to you know building complex ui or harder layout it could be a bit you know uh off because immediate mode is mostly used for small applications which have you know not uh very complex uis and stuff whereas in the retained mode the ui elements are stored as objects in memory and update it only when the state changes. So we create a button once, set a callback, store UI state, and wait for the click. When the click occurs, we just trigger the callback. So basically, uh, your objects are stored in memory and updated like only when you have some change in state, like we do in React, uh, Dioxys, as well in Rust. So uh, obviously, we can build more powerful layouts and you know more. Uh, like it's more structured as well, but more complex and there can be state sync issues and stuff. Uh, some examples of immediate as we just discussed about eGoy, but for retain mode, uh, it's like Flutter or uh, React. That's when we have the retain mode. Now, since we understand immediate versus retain mode GUI, and we also understand eGoy is an immediate GUI, let's understand how a typical eGoy application runs or what goes on behind the scenes. The application starts and runs an event loop. For every frame, the event loop emits update and you know to trigger the UI. Now eGoy context begins the frame, runs the UI code, the buttons, sliders, and collect the UI state, like the current snapshot you can call, and end the frame. Generates a pent command and send to the renderer and then renderers you know draws the ui and trigger the redraw request for the next time that's how a typical eui application works behind the scenes now let's do some hands-on you just need a basic cargo project so just do cargo new and the project name whatever you want to keep so in your project in your cargo terminal file add eframe with the latest version you can just do cargo add eframe and let's build some ui in this example today, we'll build a basic desktop native application. Here is our example AY application. We have a window size of 100 by 400. We name our application as demo. You can name anything that you want and render and run native on desktop. And we have our options uh, where we can pass. But for now, we set everything else as default. And then comes our uh, creation context or the application. So we have our struct with name and age, and we have to implement eframe for our app. And right here, we can give the implementation for update. So as you can see right here, what happens in the central panel is defined here. So I set up a heading as demo. And then we have some horizontal stuff like, you know, labels and stuff. And then we have some slider increment and finally a label. Now there is tons more that you can do. Uh, you know new child type uh, let me show you more uh, actually you can also experiment with style you can also play around with text you can also have you know those uh, i don't know those uh, fancy heights and stuff headings so anything that you want to play around with, just try out it's pretty straightforward like you don't need much it's just like just you know calling a function and then passing whatever is required and similarly, if you want to experiment with all the components, then you have here, uh, you know, button, panel, checkbox, and uh, combo box, 
whatever you want dropped file event event filter form data like everything that you need but for this specific example we'll just stick with whatever we have here if you need the same code just drop me a comment i'll be happy to share and uh, yeah this is how our ui application looks like since you guys already know how it works behind the scenes but so let's give it a shot and see how our ui looks like so we can simply do is cargo run quite no no other commands that we need so here's a first look of our application with the defaults that we set and we can increment the age and it immediately updates as you can see it's pretty fast it's not like because it's not a retained mode it's the immediate mode like as you can see it's like pretty fast and same in the button so as we oh sorry in the text box hello world or whatever you want to do we can do styling and play around in the future videos as well so this is how eGUI works you can build pretty efficient i would say front end or gui with uh, eGUI. so yeah as you can see we set immediately the slider also slides so yeah give it a shot and let me know in the comments how do you feel and now let's see who should be using it so on the official documentation you can have it a read i'll drop the link in the description so as you guys can see if you want something that doesn't break on updates igua isn't yet for you and if you want something which is simple to create GUI or want to add GUI to a game engine you can use igua but if you don't want rust igua is not for you so that's it for this video guys i hope you guys understand learn something new if you do like the video share with your friends i'll catch you guys in another video with another interesting topic until then